Hey, what's going on? Thank you so much for watching. It would mean the world to us if you could just scroll down, like, hit the subscribe button for the Snaps YouTube channel. It goes a long way towards helping us out. Now, let's dive into some college football. Florida State, some breaking news here. Aaron, do you actually want to take the lead on this? Because I am coming. I did not get near the amount of prep time I generally do for our show. I'm coming straight. I'm a local radio man for my main job. And so I was touring a new client. Uh, mm -hmm. It was very good. Shout out. But like this all kind of broke while I was in meetings and whatnot. Yeah. No, I mean, it, it, we all know for those who have you know watched college football or, or been kind of up to news with, with the realignment of what college football is going to be a year ago when the big 10 shuffled and the sec shuffled, the new media deals came out with Fox and NBC, uh, uh, for, for the Big Ten, and obviously Disney, ESPN for the SEC, and the amount of money that each university was going to make, kind of the ACC was sent back saying, like, what the hell? Like, we're Florida State, we're Clemson, we're major brands, two of the bigger ones, obviously, in that conference. But we're going to get paid 30 to $40 million less than Vanderbilt, than Northwestern, than obviously Ohio State and Georgia and Alabama, the teams that we truly are going to be like, we're, we're, we're at a $40 million gap. So obviously that pissed them off. Now Florida State goes 13-0 and gets left out for multiple reasons. One, your quarterback's not playing, but then Boo came out, Corrigan, and said, you're also not in because of strength of schedule. Like, it was a shot at the ACC. It was. So Florida Direct State has been, Florida State's been wanting to get out of this league for first the money. I think this plays a little bit of a role into it. Obviously, the expanded playoffs next year, like, it doesn't really matter because you'll get in next year with a 12-team playoff. But they look at it as, as we all do. Like, we are, th this is, it's two super conferences. It's either you're in the Big Ten, in the SEC, or you're at a, a lower level, essentially. And in and, and Florida State, then they shouldn't view themselves as a lower team, views themselves like the big boys, so does Clemson, semi Miami, and they want out. The problem is, obviously, we, we the grant of rights. So the grant of rights owns the, the, the media rights for all the AC, ACC schools until 2036. So they, they want to get out of that. It's pretty ironclad, very difficult to get out of it. Obviously, a lot yeah. of money has to be essentially put together. They're talking about some private equity to help with, with the difference there. Um, but they're they're going to be meeting tomorrow to continue the conversation of maybe even legal action against the conference to get out of this grant of rights so they can start making a move to most likely the, the SEC or Big Ten. I know there's been some talks, maybe the Big 12, uh, but I, I do think that, like, I don't, there's, to me, why would you leave the ACC to go to the Big 12? It's the same damn thing. You want to go to one of the big boys. Obviously, SEC would be the preferable one. Um, so they're going to continue now, to keep what the ball do you mean rolling. By SEC? Now, what do you mean by SEC would be the preferable one? I think it, 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 for it, it, it For the ACC or for FSU? I would think for, for FSU. I mean, I get the Big Tens trying to make this a national conference from what they've added with Washington and Oregon and USC yeah. and UCLA. But like I, I still like when it comes to, to building a conference, I think Sankey's done a good job of understanding like where is our geographical footprint. It is in the southeast. We are called the SEC for a reason. Florida State just fits into that a little bit better. Sankey's saying that now, you know, as as it behooves him. Watch that change once it becomes, you know, once it becomes the 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 monetarily best choice to add some team. But what the teams West do Coast you want to add? Tomorrow. I mean, what are, what, what teams on the West Coast would you want to add right now? Um, none right now, but I mean, consolidation isn't going to stop, right? Like this, there, this is I mean, going I can see to the big, the big 10 could take the Midwest and the West. Yeah. And then the SEC just take essentially the Southeast all the way up the East coast. So, I mean, consume most of the, the schools you want in the ACC. Um, I mean, if obviously if Florida state does find a way out, it's likely the death knell for, uh, the ACC. Now, I don't know that, that, that agreement inside and out, but I, Kind of have a, uh, a layman's understanding that if one team does get out, that then the floodgates kind of open and other teams would be able to follow suit. Um, I I don't know if it did. now may, maybe it's like cost prohibitive for other teams to follow because Walker Dog and Chat says where does this leave Clemson? I mean I think it leaves Clemson getting out as well. Yeah, or doing everything they can so. to get out. This, this this is one of the great ideas, and again, you you just can't get people to ever agree to anything like this because the NCAA is still there and trying to hold on to whatever shred of itself it is and you have you know a ton of jobs in the ACC office or the 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 
Big 12 offs, wherever. But like, this is where the idea of what Chip Kelly, if you could just have a fantasy world where you could just say, okay, we're going to design it in this brand new way. Mm -hmm. Um, how in having a full like 64 team power conference where and you can keep all your designations, AC, whatever, but where everybody gets the same amount of money, that would be to me the ideal because we're going to have to gauge in uh, a bit of Shodan fraud for you years, few years here where you're mm -hmm. going to have schools making over double the amount from TV revenue. And yet we're going to have to act like it's an even playing field. And um, we should be more impressed. Like, like it's going to piss me off that schools that have these massive monetary advantages are going to win on Saturday. We're just like, man, they're just a better run program. Like, no, they have a yeah. ton more money coming into them. Yep. Um, yeah. I, I, the, the thing that I keep hearing too, and I've, I've heard this from numerous people. I've had some conversations from some people that are, you know, well connected, especially at the Georgia front. When I met with them this week, of we've heard it a little bit when it comes to Florida State of how are they going to be able to pay to get out of this grant of rights? Is private equity coming into college football? Of 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 these groups looking at this as a possible? It's not the NFL. It's not as expensive. We see the future of college football. We see the direction it's going in. We see the mega money that's coming into some of these TV deals. We want in now before this thing really blows up. How do they make their it. money back in that case, though? Just through uh, portions TV revenue, of ticket TV sales, revenue. I mean, yeah, yeah. Well, not even just portions of the overall football revenue, yeah. obviously, with their interest mm -hmm. tacked on. I would think like TV sales, TV revenue sales. I well, I'm saying all one. of it. I'm saying though all of it. Like if, if this is your program and you're making X amount of money, they're going to get their payments back just out of that overall gross revenue. Yes. And then with whatever interest tacked on. Um, mm -hmm. I, I guess it, it's it's tough. To, it's such a tough thing to know though, because for so many years we've been kind of sold these bills of goods of like nobody operates in the black, right? Like everybody's in the red, everybody's losing money. But it's like we're also you know schools are kind of cooking their books because you don't want to get budgets mm -hmm. cut like there's like it's a, it's it's a very i guess it doesn't feel as simple as like yeah if you invest in a sports like an a professional sports franchise we've just seen the numbers just go up right mm -hmm. like like the the bensons bought the pelicans for about 400 million dollars i want to say uh over a decade ago they're now worth over like 2 billion and guess what? The Pelicans have been dog shit that mm -hmm. entire time. They haven't won anything, but it doesn't matter. Uh, it, it's just tougher to see that on a college level. But I have heard also that that's where yeah. FSU would maybe get out. I'm not um, say just FSU. I'm talking about college football as a whole. Like no, I see that. Yes, yes. Yeah, well, these conferences yeah. going that route too, where they bring in these these investors to to be a part of the future Oof. of college football. Man. Nothing says uh, the professionalization of college football like private equity yeah. getting involved. That's when it all mm. gets a little seedy. It's a, it's a, I mean, you should already be out the mine if you're into amateurism, but there's your canary yelling in your ear, yeah. get the fuck out. It's yeah. about to collapse. Um, I don't think so. I, I, I still am the belief, and, and your boy Hester got me on this big time. And and I know Kelly said that 64 teams, but I still think 64 is too many. And I don't think there's 64 quality, you know, quote unquote power power teams out there that deserve a seat at the table. I think you make it even smaller. Than that. I think you make it what college football is so oh, much wait, well, to me. Just pick a random number. Uh 32? You think 40. you make it 32 teams? I think it's 40. I think it's <laughs> okay. 40. I think you I think you have 120 teams. You have three essentially like uh European soccer. You have the top 40 champion. Uh, the next 40 or whatever, the next 40 or whatever, however you want to name them, you know, do the Chip, the Chip Kelly thing, Nike, uh, Reebok and and Puma, whatever. Um, and there's relegation that the, the, you have 20, you have 40 teams. You, you split up in the 2020, the top six from each one play in a playoff. And then the bottom four from that 40 get relegated out. The top four from the other one get relegated in. I mean, it in would be crop, awesome, baby. but nobody's ever going to agree to relegation. Yeah. So again, these are all fantasies. Oh. Um, we'll you know why? Because we talked about it the other day. It's it's the the conferences. They only care about themselves. Uh, well, not just that, but like, why would I ever agree to a relegation system if I'm like a Kentucky? Like, you have so many have-nots that would clearly argue against that, even if they were like, "Well, we'll make more money." Right. No, like they'd still say no. They don't have a choice. You bring in private equity money, and they have the well. Okay, the have-nots. You don't have a choice. You don't have a damn choice. 
Mm. Okay, hostile takeover, creating yeah. relegation. Interesting. Um, so you Florida think they, State they, leaving. They, they, they give a shit about what Kentucky and Vanderbilt are going to boohoo if they're not getting as much money because they're not on the top league. They don't care. They want the best product to drive as much revenue through TV sales. And no that's doubt. all the best teams together in their own league and letting those teams play. Yeah, but like something like the Premier League would never be agreed to today. I mean, you even saw a lot of the major teams from Premier Leagues across the world try to start their own Super League before fans told them to fuck off and there was a general result or a general revolt that made yeah. them get rid of it. So, like, I don't know. I, I don't think any school would ever – I don't think you'll ever have a majority that would agree to that risk, but I'd love to be proven wrong because be objectively ah. that's the tight. Yes, hell yes, again. I mean, I, how I mean awesome that it's be. not hard to understand. How crazy would it be if you're watching, like, Vanderbilt um, Rutgers? I don't know. I'm being, you know, Rutgers X is pretty good, but whatever. You get the point. You're watching yeah. Vanderbilt Rutgers, and the loser doesn't get to stay in the big league anymore. All of a sudden, you have shit games. Or your team is having a down year. Yeah. Like one of the Butch Jones Tennessee years or something. And, and oh my God, like all of a sudden this, this, this traditional power is threatened with relegation. Well, you're like sitting on the edge of your seat every single mm. weekend at that point. Those stadiums aren't empty. You have something to cheer for. It's genius, but it's never going to happen. I don't think. Uh, um, anyway, State, I'm still at the much ado about nothing stage though. Obviously not getting in the playoff really incentivizes them to figure this out even more. But, um, Kind of the story hasn't changed. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, Danny Bonilla says they just approved the Super League. Is that is that true? Mm. I thought they died like two years ago. Mm. Also saw that, yeah, in the chat. Oh, wow. The so what the fuck? I haven't thought about the Super League in years, and now there's a story from six hours ago on ESPN. 64 uh -oh. clubs, three divisions, Super League's new plan after ruling. Sheesh. Mm. All right, I'll look this up. Anyway, anyway, um, anything else in Florida State? Do you agree, do you agree that like uh, if, if Florida State and Clemson were able to get out, do you do you think SEC would be first choice? Do you think Big Ten would? Be, you think Big Ten would want to expand to the Southeast, and that would be smart for them to kind of be those two? I think for me, the SEC makes sense because it's simple and it's clean yep. and it fits like a puzzle. I think I've heard. Smart people say that, um, that no, that it should be, you know, that the SEC actually wants North Carolina, right? More than they want Florida State or anything, and they want Virginia. Mm -hmm. And and then the Big Ten, well, they would love to get into Florida. So I, I don't know. I don't know. I would, yes, just for my brain, let's keep it simple, stupid. Put yep. them in the SEC. Bada bing, bada boom. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Good. Good to go. Um, 